right, guys, we just finished putting a external antenna on the transmitter for my Mini Whoop, which is an F36, Furby F36. Um, had a good time making this one, thought I'd share it with you, so make sure you uh, stay tuned and check it out. Alright guys, well, we're going to take the stock transmitter for the F36, the Furby F36 that I've uh, kind of got turned into a mini whoop here. And we're going to put in a little antenna just to give it a little bit better uh, range and, you know, a better connection. So first things first, like always, we've got to pull these batteries out. Never do any soldering or any work with power to your transmitters or drones. All right, next step here. We've got two screws to remove on the back cover here. Now I haven't looked in here yet. I'm assuming we're just gonna have your typical single piece of wire in there. That's typically what I find when I open these uh, transmitters up. Okay, back cover. All right, this little plate that came out of here, that's just your little top piece. That's actually what we'll probably end up putting the antenna in, I would think, would be this top piece here. Assuming, yeah, we've got, looks like we've got room to do that. All right, so I don't see the antenna here, so they must have it, oh, there it is actually poking out right here. So it is a little single piece of wire. So what we're gonna do is expose this board here, so we've got four screws here that we've got to remove. This is day two of me doing some mods. This one's just a little quick one that wasn't really planning on doing, but uh, the weather's not cooperating here in uh, Western Canada down south uh, of the province. Yesterday we had, uh, and the night before, we had our 60 mile an hour winds, 100 kilometers an hour. And today it's windy, but uh, it's snowing out there, got some blizzard conditions. So we gotta pop this little power switch button off. That's holding and everything should just pop out. All these little buttons, they pop out, not a big deal, just put them aside. All right, so there's our antenna. So on the other side of the board here, and you know what I'm gonna do, and I typically do this is we're gonna just remove the positive and negative leads off the battery. It just makes things a lot easier. Okay, so closer look here, there's our antenna. Got a little bit of hot glue holding it in on this side. And on the other side, just trying to locate it here. That is our antenna right, let me get a different, right there, yep. So that's our antenna, that little solder joint right there. So we're gonna start by just removing that. All right guys, now that we've removed the original antenna off the board, we can now take our SMA connector that we're gonna use. I've stripped back the sheathing, I've pulled back the braided wiring. There's no ground that was hooked up on this board, so I don't believe I need to hook up the ground. I may be wrong, let me know guys. I. Don't mind pulling it apart again if I have to. All right, guys, we had to revisit this uh, project here. I was informed, and rightfully so, that indeed the ground wire is required when using this antenna connection. So I am going to be just basically adding a jumper from the board where the ground connects, which is right there. And I'm going to jump that around and attach it to the SMA cable. I should have known better. Um, it makes sense to me now. We'll thank uh, one of the members of Drone Days there on Facebook uh, for helping me out on this one, pointing out the flaw, but uh, making sure I knew what to do to make it right. There's the ground point. That's where the black wire goes into. I'm just going to. Basically, I'm just going to uh, jump off of that. 
All right, so now we're going to solder our jumper wire on here. Like so. Okay, we've got our jumper wire soldered on there. All right, now that we have our jumper fastened for the ground, I'm actually going to slip a little bit of shrink tube over top here. And this is going to be a little bit extra protection for the wire. Now the hard part for me at least is we've got to get these two wires connected. Don't really have a big working area here. It's pretty tight. We'll make it work. There, we've got, you know, the initial connection here. Get a little more solder on there. We're going to finalize this connection. And there we go, guys. We now have the ground hooked up. All right, so what I've done here, I've just taken some shrink tube. I've pushed it up over top of that negative connection just to cover it, just so I'm not going to ground out on anything. I'm going to put a little bit of heat to it. And there we go, guys. Okay, that's good. All right, so we've now got our jumper in place. We've got the back end. We've got our, our positive soldered into the board we jumped our ground off of the ground of the of the board where the battery terminals go into so that should be good for our ground and what I'm going to do now is just make sure everything's hot glued in the place here all right now that we've got everything glued in hot glued into place we're comfortable with our uh, antenna there not coming uh, loose okay next step is We've got to take our front cover. This is the power switch. We'll put that on after. But we've got three switches here that we've got to set into the front cover before we can attach it. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this front cover on so we can get those four screws back into the board and stabilize it. All right, so those three are in. Our hot glue is nice. We're nice and stabilized there. We've got our battery connections back on. We're gonna drop the board back into place here, like so. Perfect, and now we've got four screws that we've gotta put back in that we took out. So let's get that board lined up there, and we'll get these four screws back in, and then we'll be ready to uh, finalize the antenna mount. I'm not uh, expecting great things out of this. I'm expecting maybe a little bit stronger signal. I usually fly my little mini whoop in the cabinet shop. We've got about say 100 feet by 50 feet of area to fly in there which is perfect for these uh, mini whoops. Uh, I don't really lose connections. Sometimes it's questionable but I figured what the heck. Add a small little antenna there. It's got to be better than what's there and uh, should give me a better signal. Plan is to use the little black piece that was in there. Let's see if I can just slide this out of the way. Well, that little black piece and run the connection through that. So we're gonna drill a hole through this piece. We'll pull that up. We'll get it all nice and tight. Slide that piece in and close her up. All right, so now we're gonna take that, drill a hole right through the center there. So we're gonna run a quarter inch bit through that now. Okay, so we've drilled that. Perfect, quarter inch hole works great. That needs to go in that way, so we're gonna pull that up a bit. gonna get that mounted. The kit that I have here has all the necessary washers and nuts that you need. Start by putting that lock washer on the underside. We'll flip 
the little tab on. We'll put this lock washer on top and we'll tighten this down. All right, so we got that on. I always use a, an eight millimeter socket, just hand tight. And just, just to get that thing just a little bit tighter. We don't want it coming loose. So we've got our connection done, our boards back in. We can close up the back cover. We've got two screws holding that back cover on. Let's drop them in there. Two screws. Two. Okay, those are all in nice and snug. Okay, we're all screwed in at the back now. We can take our little power button there and make sure it's slid to the off position. We can now, wherever my little antenna went. Okay, we're gonna screw on this antenna now. Another thing that I was doing before is I was using the wrong antenna. I guess that's a 5.8 gigahertz antenna. What we should be using is a 2.4 gigahertz antenna, which this one is. This is a 5 dBi antenna. So let's throw that 5 dBi antenna on there for the purposes of this video. Man, she's a monster on such a little small controller, but hey, it's still comfortable in the hands. I got no problem with that. That's great. So we're gonna throw the batteries back in here. Got three batteries, three triple A's. We're gonna get that back cover back on. And there we go, guys. We'll put that last little screw in there. And we're back in business, guys. We've done this mod the right way now. We've got our tiny whoop transmitter now done properly we've got it grounded on the inside to the board and we're good all right guys there you have it we've added the external antenna to my mini whoop transmitter this was the f36 transmitter that i've gone and added an external antenna to we're going to be taking this one out to the shop here in the next day or so and giving it a range test. I don't expect great increase in range, but what I do expect is more stable connection between the drone and the transmitter. All right, guys, thanks for checking this one out. Make sure you give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and don't be a stranger. We'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.